back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me telling you guys all of my favorite, recent favorites on Disney Plus. Um, before we get started, I just want to point out, um, I don't know. First of which, I love my outfit today. I'm hoping I'm going to, I think I'm going to post an Instagram photo in it. So stay tuned for that. Go check me out on Instagram. But um, before I get started, I wanted to mention that I love most of, majority of the movies and shows on Disney Plus, I'm absolutely obsessed with because they were all Disney shows from, and movies from when I was a kid. But I am just going to read off like all the ones that I've been like kind of watching recently and ones that I are just really liked and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I can always do a part two and do more than what I'm telling you guys now. I just can't tell you everything because then I'd be telling you everything that's on Disney Plus and that's just too much. So. I have a little list on my phone and I'm just going to go ahead and read them off to you guys and tell you about it. Okay, so number one is Hamilton. I've watched this three times now and I need to stop. Um, I honestly love it so much and unfortunately I never got the privilege of seeing it live. Um, but I never, okay, so we're going to do some backstory about my Hamilton obsession. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't say obsession, but I like Hamilton, you know, okay, classic things. Anyway, basically, when I was in middle school, my teacher and, like, my classmates were in love with Hamilton, and I was just, like, I was, like, a musical about the founding fathers, like, that, that's stupid, but I, when it came on, um, Disney Plus, obviously, when it came on Disney Plus, I was like, hmm, maybe I should just watch it, so me and my mom watched it and I realized why it was so good. Um, I personally like musicals that are just like, you're just listening to the music. I'm not the type of person that would just sit there and listen to that kind of music all the time. I am now because I've been listening to Hamilton and I'll listen to like Beetlejuice, but that's about it. I'm just not that type of person. I'm not like a crazy musical theater kid, but I really liked Hamilton and I do like some songs from Beetlejuice, which I actually would love to see Beetlejuice live. I was supposed to do that, but Corona happened and we couldn't go to New York, so that kind of sucked. But anyway, let's continue. Um, the next one I put down is the Lizzie McGuire show and the movie. Um, I watched the entire, I watched all of it, okay? I watched a while ago, I watched all of Lizzie McGuire, and then I watched the movie, and I was obsessed. I loved it as a kid, and I just, being able to, like, rewatch it, I was, like, oh, so just beautiful. Um, the next one I put was all the High School Musicals, and High School Musical, the musical, the series. Um, I was a very High School Musical kid. I know I said I wasn't a musical theater kid or anything like that, but High School Musical was my jam, okay? But High School Musical was, like, my life. Um, I was obsessed with it. I have a Build-A-Bear that's based off of High School Musical. I had, like, all the dolls and a, like, whole set. I don't know. There was a video where I did a review on the series um, and, like, what I thought about it. Clearly, if you saw that video, I was very just, like, I loved this. It was great. Um, I like it a lot, you know? Obviously, like, honestly, the series will never be as good as the movies, but it was still was really cool to, like, see the series, I guess. And the fact that it was all, like, filmed, like, really close to me, I was like, wow. And I don't know if I talked about this in my series video about, like, when I talked about the series, um, but I met, like, Kenny Ortega, and I saw, tri like, Triple in him. Um, Zac Efron, we saw him. We watched one of the, op the opening basketball scene for the third movie, me and my mom did. Um, we met like Sharpay's dog, Ashley Tisdale, like the dog that she was using in the movies and stuff. We saw, we saw her, but I really cared about was the dog. I don't know. All that, all that information, if you want to know more about that, go check out that video. Um, but yeah, we're going to move on. Um, another movie, a movie that I'm like, I, I love this movie so much, I've watched it so many times, is 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, I was trying to tell my friend to watch it the other day, actually. Um, it's just, like, about these two sisters, and the dad was like, you can't date unless the other one dates. So, this kid that wants to date one sister ends up paying someone else to date the other sister. 
it's just it's so it's like so complicated but it's so good and i love it and it all turns out so amazing in the end and i think you should watch it okay another one i wrote this one i'm when i i um i'm gonna make another disclaimer i guess i don't have disney plus i really don't so if you're watching this my friend that is letting me use her disney plus um i love you and thank you um but i one of the things that i knew i was gonna do when i got a hold of this my friend's disney plus account um i watched all of the xenon movies xenon was my favorite thing honestly uh, obviously they all are all these movies are but one of my favorite things to watch was xenon and i remember i have a vivid memory of this was like a little bit after my parents are getting separated and i was at my dad's house and we were downstairs for some reason we just didn't have a coffee table i think we had a couch i don't think i slept on the couch though maybe we didn't have a couch in that area i don't know it was the living room but for some reason we had a projector set up I'm pretty sure that's what we were watching. We have, a, we have a projector. So my dad had that all set up downstairs with the living room or whatever. And just a giant rug. Like I don't even think there was a there was a couch. I think it was just a giant rug and a, a projector. But I have this vivid memory of me sleeping down there. We never really slept in our rooms and stuff. Like after my parents were separated. I don't know why. We just never slept in our rooms after that. In that house at least. Um, but I was sleeping on the ground. And don't know where my sister was that I really don't know I could not tell you but it was just me and I woke up in the middle of the night and Xenon was on and I was so happy about it like it was like 3 a.m. and Xenon was on and I just stayed up the rest of the night watching that I kid you not Xenon is my favorite thing I have vivid memories of just waking up in the middle of the night and like that was what would be on because I like I don't know if Disney still does this because I don't really watch Disney Channel ever because it's not good anymore but in the middle of the night it will always they will always like play like reruns of like old um disney movies and all that jazz like old shows and stuff like i remember make, waking up to that's a raven and stuff in the middle of the night like it's that good i love it okay moving on um hannah montana amazing absolutely incredible i haven't seen it in a really long time but i remember loving hannah montana like so much and if you haven't seen it, if you're, like, one of the younger, most of these, like, two, like, are probably movies that you probably already, and shows that you've already seen. But I'm just thinking about, you know, all of the younger generation that might be watching my videos. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, because it's great. Another one of them is, like, Wizards of Waverly Place. Also a classic. So good. Absolutely obsessed. I've been watching, um... I can't remember his name. He played the brother, the older brother, um, on Wizards of Waverly Place. And I've been watching his YouTube channel and Mason, the werewolf's YouTube channel. And they're just so funny. And I love it. It's great. Um, yeah. Um, another one that's a, clearly a classic is Parent Trap. Um, that one is about two sisters. They're twins. But their parents, like, separated and got a divorce or whatever. And... One of the parents took one child and the other parent took the other child and they never knew that they had a twin until they met at a camp. And then they switched places and they trapped the parents because they want them to get back together. So good, absolutely incredible, literally crazy. Like, I wish I had a twin to do that with, to be honest with you. Like, not that it would work, but like, I kind of want to do that. Next one, pure classic. I was, obs I'm like still obsessed with this movie, like hold on. Can you guess which one it is? Oh. It is Lilo and Stitch. I am. It's, it's so good. Like, if you haven't seen Lilo and Stitch, I don't know who you are, but I'm really disappointed. Um, it's a classic. It's so good. It's worth every, every, just everything. I love Lilo and Stitch. We're going to leave him here for now stitch my bae i actually did um a halloween costume where i dressed up as lilo and then I, that's why i have this because i needed it for my costume and i'm really glad i have it though um i'll put a picture right here of my lilo and stitch costume if i can find a picture because i don't think i took any pictures but my mom did so if i find that i'll put it here okay so the next one i wrote down was both of the incredibles the first one and the second one um, grew up on this movie 100%. The second movie was so good, and I just 
I don't know how to feel about it, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with all of those old, like, nostalgic Disney movies. I, I'm, like, I'm so close to, like, going and binge-watching all of these movies, but I'm, like, I have so many other shows that I need to watch and catch up on, but I'm so close to watching all the movies I've already seen, but it's fine. Um... The next one I wrote down is all the Toy Story movies. Like, I know some people, like, with, okay, so when movies have, like, multiple, sometimes you just kind of, like, what, like, one more than the other. But honestly, with Toy Story, I kind of was loving them all. Um, one day, like, I want to say it was literally, like, the beginning of quarantine. Like, I was like, hmm, you know what would be fun? Watching all of the Toy Story movies. So that's what I did. I went and watched every single Toy Story movie because I Okay, so, continuing. Um, Disney princess movies. That's all I'm going to say on that because I don't want to go into, like, every Disney. I don't, could not tell you every princess, Disney princess movie um, because there's just a lot. And I don't really want to go over every single one. But all the Disney princess movies, like, literally grew up on them. Like, that was, you know, just classics. That's all I got to say. Go watch them. Tinkerbell. Um, all the Tinkerbell movies. I don't know if these, those would be considered, like, princesses. But, like, the Tinkerbell movies and, like, the Peter Pan movies are just, like, even, like, the live-action ones and stuff. So good. So, I need to, I want to go watch the Tinkerbell movies right now because they're just so good. Like, they're, I want to be a fairy. Please? Sorry, I've been, like, really into this whole, like, Debbie Ryan thing lately. I don't know. Please don't. Just disregard that. It just happened. Okay, so the Sweet Life movies. Oh, the Sweet Life movies and the shows. Because there was the Sweet Life on Deck, Sweet Life, um, the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? I don't know why I, I was confused. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody were in the, they're in the hotel, and then Sweet Life on Deck, and then I'm pretty sure there's like one or two Sweet Life movies. All so good. Classics. Uh, I know I said classics a lot throughout this entire video, but I think that you just don't get it. Um, that's really it, and I think that you need to go and watch them. I honestly was so obsessed with Cole Sprouse and Dylan Sprouse. They're just pure gold. And there's also these TikToks of them dancing in Sweet on Sweet Life on Deck. So funny. Class. They're so funny. They're just really funny characters. I just think that y'all just don't understand. Okay. Um, another movie. This one's semi newish. I don't know. It's called A Wrinkle in Time. It's super good. It's I highly recommend it. Like that's one that I feel like some people might not have actually seen yet, but it's really good and I highly recommend it. And it is on Disney Plus, so you should check it out. The last two movies um, are the Twitches movies. There's Twitches one and Twitches two, or just Twitches, and then there's Twitches two. But but they're both super good. Um, I'm really I honestly like my favorite time is to watch them is around Halloween. Um, I'm not sure if they have these movies on Disney Plus. I did not check. But the other ones I like to watch around Halloween are all the Halloween Town movies. Absolutely crazy. Like, I'll, they're, I, and my plan is to be Marnie from Halloween Town for Halloween this year. Well, we'll that, that's the plan, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And I'm obsessed with them, and Twitches is so good. I think you need to watch it. Who cares if it's Halloween or not? Go watch it. Um, yeah. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I've got to go. we got to go to the grocery store. But I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers. I'm sorry. I've been like doing like a this thing with my... Because I got my nails done. But you'll see that in a different video. Like I'll show more about that. It's, a, it's for a different video. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. All that jazz. Post notification bell. Um, uh, go check out all my social medias. My Instagram. My TikTok. If that's not being banned. I don't know what's up with that. We're just. We're not going to get into that. Um, my TikTok. All that jazz. My Twitter's down there. I tweet sometimes. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Last but not least. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Or whenever you're watching this. Bye.